Well, hello, my pretties. So today's video, oh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I can't start without saying welcome back. But in this, in today's video, I'm going to be teaming up with Madam Glam New York. And I'm going to be using four of their um, colors that they just released in the Wonderlust collection. And it actually launched September the 1st. But um, I chose four colors from that particular line. And I'm going to be um, using them to create this beautiful design on my client today. So let's um, go over some of the polishes that um, I chose. And the first one that I picked was September Skies. And it's this beautiful blue. Kind of, it's almost like periwinkle, but not quite. But it's a, that gives you kind of an idea of what it looks like. But it's uh, September Skies. Um, I picked this uh, mauve colors in the mauve family. And it's called Pink Liberty. And I also picked this beautiful green. The green is called Walk in the Park. Very pretty color. And then last but not least, I picked Dreamer. And it's a brownish nude, um, more on the tan side. But it's a, um, you know, in the brown family. And it's called Dreamer. So we're going to go. And that's all that I, um, that's the only thing that was in this little package but we're gonna go ahead and try I always like teaming up with Madam Glam um I love their polishes and everything but I'm going to create a design uh, for my client let me see your hand I've already prepped her okay yeah so I already prepped her I actually um applied the acrylic I did a fill in on her um she came in with a really long set from last time I'll place a picture somewhere on the screen to show you the previous set and she's getting ready to go back to school. So she needed them shortened um, and also to take her clients. So I actually shortened her nails down. So we did a cut down and a fill in. And now I'm just going in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file, which I love, love, love. You guys already know that. And I am just going ahead and finishing up her shape. So I'm going to finish shaping her and then I'll come back and we'll chat about um, the design. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and just enjoy the shaping process.
Okay, so now that we're done, I'm going to go in with the Madam Glam's uh, base coat. And I really like the Madam Glam's base coat, y'all. The only thing I don't like about it is the smell. Um, even the Madam Glam top coat, I'm not too particular about um, either one um, when it comes to the smell. But um, as far as the quality of it and the shine of the top coat, like, it, you know, it do what it needs to be doing, but <laughs> it does what it needs to do. But uh, the smell is really, really like intoxicating. I don't like the smell. And I also found like even when I um, remove the um, gel from the nails, um, you get the same smell. So other than the smell, um, like I say, I do like it. Now their gel polishes has a total, you know, totally different smell. They don't smell the same. But as far as their base and the top coat, they both have that strong, like a real potent smell. But if you can get past that, then um, you would be pleased with the uh, Madam Glam's base and top coat. But um, I'm just going in and just making sure I got a thin layer of base coat on these nails because she actually did not know what she wanted me to do with the colors. Um, so I, you know, I let her see the colors once I opened them up. She said that, you know, she would be satisfied with those colors uh, because we didn't know. Well, I knew what colors they were, but she didn't know what colors they were. And so once I opened the packaging and she saw the colors, um, we decided to pick some um, kawaii um, candies or not candies, but the kawaii like um, cartoon characters. And so we picked a few of those. Um, and then she put that back. She had some little girl, like little girl faces, doll faces. She put that back. And so then we uh, finally made a decision to go with some gummy bears. So um, we're going to go with some gummy bears and I'll be showing you guys that um, in a little bit. But um, now that I have one hand out of the light, I always let my hand uh, client cure one hand in the light while I'm working on the other hand. It saves time and, you know, keeps you moving. But um, so we decided to do a deep French with um, each color. So I have four colors and I'm going to put um, the most, well, everything but the nude. I'm not going to use the nude until um, later. But for the French, we decided to do like a blue French, a green French, and a pink French on both of her nails. So each nail will have um, three French nails and then two nails with some sort of a design. And so she right now is kind of, um, you know, contemplating on what kind of design uh, she would like on those other two finger fingers. But I'm just, um, as you can see, going in and going ahead and creating this French for her. And you want to always remember to um, get the tips of your nails when you're doing a French, especially when you're doing a color French. Um, uh, well, white too. Um, it just depends. Well, it doesn't dep depend is what I'm saying. You always want to make sure that you cover the tip um, really well. Not a thick coat, like a really thin coat because you don't want it bulky. You don't want it to change the shape of your nail. Your gel polish should not should never be um, thick enough to where it covers, I mean, changes, completely changes the shape of the nail. <laughs> so, and I'm just doing a little clean up. You'll see me um, like throughout the set. Like I always clean up when I'm using gel um, because I always, I try to get as close to my client's cuticle as possible without getting on the cuticle but sometimes you will get on the cuticle and then even if I'm not on the cuticle I always like to come back and clean up just in case so that when I you know when I once I release my client to go into the light you know I know that there's nothing on her cuticle so now I'm um, just taking the next color and which is the green and the green is called walk in the park the blue you guys know that september skies that's what i just did so this green one is called walk in the park and i love the names like i love um the way that madam glam named their um 
polishes, it kind of puts you in the mind of like um, OPI. You know how OPI always have like a spectacular name, you know, something really unique for their polishes. I do like that. It's, you know, it just lets you know that people put a lot into their business, a lot of thought, and they don't just give you a red and call it a red <laughs> or orange and say, yeah, this is orange. This is bright orange. This is dark orange. This is a lighter orange, you know, stuff like that. So. So now I'm taking um, the mauve color, which is uh, called Pink Liberty. And I'm um, doing the same thing. I'm just I'm doing a deep French on this one. And she wanted her French, um, both French Frenches side by side. So we're going to do um, this Pink Liberty here right alongside the September Skies. I think these two colors um, complement each other very well. But um, before we get any further in the video, I would like to say that I do have a discount code. This um, collection, which is called Wanderlust, yet again, I'm going to repeat that so you guys are very familiar with what it is. This is the Wanderlust um, collection, and it launched September 1st. But just in case you guys, um, if anybody's watching who is interested in purchasing things from Madam Glam, um, you know, any gel polishes or whatever from Madam Glam. Um, I do have a discount code uh, for you guys to use um, because you're special to me. I have a discount code for you guys to, to use. And this discount code actually gets you 30% off of your purchase, which that's awesome. Like that's awesome. Cause sometimes your discount codes may not be but like 10, you know, 15%. So to get 30% off of, um, Madam Glam polishes like that's like the bomb.com. <laughs> that's the bomb.com. Y'all, I'm telling my age, aren't I? But anyway, uh, yeah, the discount code is for 30% off. So I'll place it here on the screen. Also, I will put a um, bit.ly link in the description box. That link will take you directly to Madam Glam's website. You will be able to um, look around on the site, make your purchases. Once you go to the checkout, you want to make sure that you do use my product code, um, my discount code, which is uh, Pretty Nail Notes 30 underscore one. And I'll have it right here on the screen. But you want to make sure that you do insert that code um, so that you get your 30% off complimentaries of myself and Madam Glam. So, yeah, back to this um, French. <laughs> Back to this fringe. It's looking really good. And like I said, don't forget to, um, you know, make sure you frame the free edge really well so that it looks nice. And she's just going to pop that in the light. I'm just going to move right along to the next one. On this thumb, we're going to go back in with um, the green, which the green is called Walk in the Park. We did September Skies. And we did the Pink Liberty um, on the middle finger. And then now we're going to end with Walk in the Park, which is the green. This green is really pretty. Um, I think I, I don't know. I never do like a, a plain set on myself that much. Like sometimes I will, but I ain't going to say sometimes. I'm going to say like three or four times I have. Most of the time, if I do my nails, um, I'm doing a uh, colorful set. It's going to have some type of colors or glitter or something in it. But this green is so pretty. Um, I feel like you can just use this alone. You guys know how it is when you're creating your lines. You have to really like hold your breath <laughs> to get like the perfect line and then still sometimes you have to come back and clean it up but it's this doing this is so like satisfying and relaxing to me i love it this is my happy place yeah and then you want to always clean up around the cuticles like i say even if you see something or not um most of the time i do um clean up very seldom if I look at it and it looks fine, I don't um I don't clean up anyway. But most of the time I do. Okay, so here we're going in with the um September skies. We just did walk in the park on the other thumb. And so we're going in with September skies on um on this thumb. 
And I know some people wait to the end to clean up their fringe, but if I get out of line, I actually stop right there and clean it up because I, I want to see my set. I want to see the design come together as I'm doing it. So if it's out of place, I typically stop and correct myself right then and then I move on. So that's what um, you just saw me do. And then I'm just going back in now and just um, perfecting that line. And I left these uh, French, um, the French design a little bit on the wider side at the bottom because we are, um, remember I said we were placing um, gummy bears on here. So I left the French kind of wide. I didn't do a V. I just chose to do kind of like a wide smile line um, to give me room to place the gummy bear in the middle and then not have, um, you know, the whole French design covered up which is pretty big. Um, they're, they were like a medium-sized bear, but I feel like it's still going to cover up a, a good little bit of that uh, fringe design anyway. So I wanted it to have a little wider space. So that's why I did, like I, ch I opted to do the wider French look. Okay, so um, my client told me that she did decide to go ahead and go with marbling for the pinky and the pointer. And also for the two... Um, fingers that's left on her other hand she's going to do marbling on these last four so what i'm doing is i'm taking the um, colors that i already have on my palette because she did mention marbling um in the beginning so i put the colors on the palette preparing for the marbleization but um she decided to do french so now that um, i do have already have the colors on the palette i just kind of mix them in together and then for this one beside the blue i took more pink and the blue which is the um pink liberty in september skies i took that and marbled it on the pinky because it was next to september skies and then for the pointer, I put um, I took the Pink Liberty and the Walk in the Park and marbled those together. Like I picked up more of those two colors and put it on the pointer because it was in between those two colors. I felt like it would give it a good contrast. Um, all together, all of the colors look good and work well together. So it basically kind of blended. Nothing like stuck out as if it was out of place or anything because all of the colors work well together. Um, this Wonderlust collection came with eight different um, colors that was launched September 1st. So um, particularly, like I would probably say, go ahead and get all eight colors because each color worked together with themselves. So I know I only chose the four colors, but I'm more than likely going to go and go ahead and order the other four colors so that I have all eight in that Wonderlust co um, collection. So now on this pinky, I'm just doing the same thing I did with the first um the other hand, I'm just going in, um, taking um, more of the green, um, which is the uh, walk in the park because I'm right beside the green. And so I'm just making sure that I tie that in with this marbleization. And then for the pointer, I'm next to the blue, which is September skies and the pink Liberty. So I'm taking both of those and then marbling those two in on the pointer. So both hands are basically the same, but yet, you know, it has some, some differences um, in the design. And also, I would like to mention that I did take the brown, the nude color. I don't know why I keep saying brown. I took the nude color, which is um, called Dreamer. And I actually added um, a little bit of the nude into the marble designs. Um, I did that on the pinky on the right, on her right hand, um, which would be on your left. And then um, on her left hand, which will be on your right, I actually um, picked it up at the time of me um, like scooping up my color. So I didn't have to go back in and add it. But on the um, on her right hand, I did add a little bit of that, a little bit more of the um, the color dreamer onto that. And it gave that a pop. It actually made the um, nude on those fingers pop out a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm taking my IBD hard gel and I'm going in, um, I have not placed anything else on the um, nail. It's just um, the base coat and then the French. Um, so the next step, I'm adding the IBD hard gel where I want to place my um, gummy bears and my stones or any, you know, accessories. And I put a good little bit, um, you know, I would like to say a generous amount of hard gel on the nail so that my um, accessories 
don't fall off because you don't want to complete your client and she has a nice set and she go out in the same day she's missing her accessories or the next day and um, these accessories can get pretty expensive and even if you um, do the client and they don't come back and they lose their their stones or they lose their accessories it's just something that you don't want behind your name and then also if you have if you're having to um redo clients or they having to come back to get their accessories reapplied and then they're lost and you having to reapply it's, it gets expensive you know so you want to always make sure you do um use a generous amount of that hard gel in order to um secure the larger stones in my opinion that's what i use i know other things work as well i just haven't used a lot of other things so now i'm actually taking the um my handheld light and i'm curing that in place because i did see that it was um like falling to the side a little bit um when i went to move on to the other nail and i don't want it sliding so i actually um cured it for about 10 seconds with my handheld lamp just enough for me to move on to this next finger and then um once i'm done with this finger um i'll go ahead and pop them in the light so I just added um, one gummy bear to each nail and then a few stones. Um, two of the stones were leaf shaped and the other two were um, circular in motion. I mean, I said circular in motion. <laughs> Y'all be talking over myself. But the other two were um, just regular stones. So um I'm just cleaning up any extra uh, hard gel that's like, um, like, you know, smooshed out on the sides or whatever. I go ahead and clean that up, blend it in, and then I go back with my top coat and I just seal in every area that I haven't um, placed any hard gel. And then we're going to be ready to go ahead and pop this in the light. Like I say, I always clean up. And this time I actually got some on my client's skin because I was trying to like squeeze into tight places. So I did get some on her skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and readjust these because they were looking kind of off. One thing about placement, you're going to keep playing with it until you get it to that, you know, till you get it to look perfect to you. And then you want to go ahead and cure it. But by all means, don't put it in that light because once it hit that light, it's over, baby. It's cured. <laughs> it's stuck in place. Okay, so on this um, hand, I'm going to do the same thing that we did on the first hand. Each one of these gummy bears is different. Um, we chose a green, a blue, a pink, and a brown gummy bear. So um, that's, that's the four colors of the gummy bears. And what I did was, like on this hand, there's a pink and a green. Um, I chose the opposite, but the color that's beside that. So if, like... This one is the French. Then I chose the, um, I mean, whatever color the French is next to it, then that's the color gummy bear that I chose. But this hand, I think I actually went with the brown. I can't remember. This is a voiceover, so I can't remember. I can't remember. But I think on the other hand, it's like um, the opposite color. I can't remember. One of them, I know I didn't have the exact color. So this may be the hand where I didn't have the exact color. And I used the brown gummy bear, which kind of reminds you like of a nude. And I think that's um, that's this one right here. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and flash cure for about 10 seconds or more. And once I'm sure that it's set in place... Then I'll proceed, um, you know, to the next finger. We just want to hold it in place until we can get the client's hand into the light. And this was a pretty simple set. I just pretty much followed each design, um, you know, to the T. And it, it had like versatility, but it also had like some uniform um, uniformness to it. Okay, I need a few more stones to put here. Initially, I just wanted to put one stone on each side of the um, the gummy bear, but then once I started applying it, it looked like something was missing. So I went ahead and added one extra smaller stone than the one that I had on there. I went down uh, two sizes, I think, and then I added um, two more stones. 
I just didn't want the nail to look really overcrowded. Um, she did go a lot shorter, had less room to work with. She usually gets a lot of um, charms and things on her nails and candies and stuff. But um, this time we were going for something a little bit um, simpler. And now I'm just taking my top coat. I've been using the Creations um, top coat and I really like it. Uh, I purchased it from my local beauty supply and I bought two bottles initially just in case I liked it. I had another bottle. I love the consistency of it. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> sometime this week, whenever I go, probably, um, probably Sunday, I'm going to go to the um, nail supply store and pick up some more things. And I think I'm going to grab um, two more bottles of the creations top coat i really like it the um it's odorless and um everything it's not like i don't think it's completely odorless but i really i never smell it like i can't tell you how it smells <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all okay so we flash cured that and i'm gonna let my client go ahead and put her hand in the lamp um i forgot to top coat this um last nail the ones that we did the um marble on and then i'm gonna go ahead and top coat the thumb as well because we're not putting a design or anything on the thumb this thumb does look a little bit um kind of bland <laughs> it looks kind of um plain so uh i think i'm gonna go ahead and place um uh, a few stones maybe two maybe two stones um here It needs just a pop, especially since it's so far away from the other nails. I just felt like it needed um a little pop. Okay, so I initially placed the stones in the middle of the nail, but they were giving me uh boring. <laughs> so I decided to push them to the side. So I just slid them over to the side and it just gave me a different feel. So I, I like that. So um, my client doesn't mind though. She don't care. So I, I could do, you know, whatever I pretty much want to, which this is, like I say, a simple, simple set. This is really, really simple. And I'm just going to go ahead and top coat this hand. And then we got to add our two stones because we want this hand to be alike, but somewhat different. But I'm going to go ahead and add two stones to this thumb as well. Yeah, and we want to make sure that they're on the same side as the other one, which is on the inside of the thumb facing the um, pointer. And you want to have it on the same position on the other hand. Okay, so she's put her hand in the light. She's out of the light. I'm going to go ahead and spray her down to remove any residue from um, the acrylic or any um, monomer that's on her skin. I'm going to go ahead and spray her down and cleanse her hands. Typically, my clients don't have to wash after a service. Um, I clean them off. And then once I'm done cleaning them off, I go back in with... Um, I go back in with some oil, um, cuticle oil. My cuticle oil that I um, made myself, I formulated it myself. Um, the base is shea butter, and then I have a few other oils in there um, as well. My oils also have, um, they, they're made of and constructed of three components. One is oil, the next one is flour, and then there's also um, natural stones in there. Um, I just wanted um, a really good oil um, to soften my client's skin because we know that um, this process can be really harsh, especially if you're like soaking off or something like that and you want to just place that moisture and that, um, you know, place that moisture back into the hands. Look at this. So, and to the cuticles. The cuticles are very important because you don't want your client's cuticles all dried out. So, we are done. And I'm just going to take some, al um, some alcohol and cuticle oil. Not, um, not alcohol, but I'm taking cuticle oil and I'm basically just um, framing my client's cuticles and then you'll see me go like over her knuckles and everything. 
just to soften everything up um, for her pictures and her videos afterwards. We want to make sure that she leaves feeling really, really good. Nobody wants to leave getting their nails done with dry hands or ashy hands. You want to be looking your very best. I also um, offer a complimentary hand, hand massage for my clients. I always massage their fingers, rubbing the oils in, you know, and it just makes you feel really good. Um, I do have one client that's a, a stylist. She's a hairstylist. She does natural hair and she does a lot of braiding. And she always tells me how her hands cramp up. So this is a service that I love to offer her. Um, it just makes your clients feel good. And everybody likes that little extra touch. You know, everybody doesn't do it. So it's just something that I like to do um, for my clients um, just to let them know I do appreciate them for choosing pretty nail notes. And I just want to show my appreciation. So once I've gotten the oil and everything all worked in, especially around the cuticles, I'll come back um, with a towel. Sometimes if I apply too much oil, um, I'll come back with the towel and just kind of like wipe the surface because we don't want to be slipping and sliding everywhere. We just want to have nice moisturized hands. So um, I'll come back with the towel if necessary and just wipe the hands off. But always, always when I'm done um, with my client's hand massage, I will take a lint-free wipe as you see in the video. I take this lint-free wipe um, with some alcohol uh, formulated just for nails um, and I just basically wipe the um, shine from the alcohol, I mean, not the alcohol, I wipe the shine from the oil from my client's nails so that they shine really well um, in the video. And also when my client leaves, I want them to have the best shine of their life. So this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you get a good look. Um, I love you guys. And make sure you rush right on over to Madam Glam and purchase their Wonderlust collection is eight bottles this is four of the eight i love you guys thank you for tuning in and you have a wonderful night and i'll see you guys in the next video bye